Okay, so uh, good afternoon guys. Uh, hope you are doing fine. Uh, I bring you this question in physics. Um, those of you that are under the school of natural sciences, you'll be able to benefit. This question usually comes in your tests and hope you will be able to learn something. Uh, the tortoise and the hare. I usually hear many people complaining over this question, but of course I know it's critical, but we shall be able to do uh, the needful. Okay, so the question is saying a turtle and a rabbit engage in a foot race over a distance of 4 kilometers. Now the rabbit runs 0 0.5 kilometers and then stops for a 90 minute nap. Now upon awakening, he remembers the race and runs twice as fast, finishing the course in a total time of 1.5 hour. Now the rabbit wins the race. Now the question is saying calculate the average speed of the rabbit. Now we are going to draw first of all uh, the data. It's very important that you come up with the data in physics. Why are we doing the data? It's because that is just a discipline in physics. So you come up with your data. Now we have been taught in the question that we have a total distance of 4.0 kilometers. We have also been taught that we have some uh, speed of the rabbit, which, uh, sorry, some, some, uh, some distance that the rabbit covered, okay? So I'll just say uh, the distance, I'll put S. You can put whatever letter there, but whichever letter you can put D, uh, whichever letter you feel like putting there. So we have also the, 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 the distance for the rabbit that the rabbit covered, okay, which was 0 0.5 kilometers and then stops for a nap. So we are going to say that the time for a nap for the rabbit is simply 90.0 minutes now upon awakening he remembers the rest and runs twice now this statement please uh, uh, kindly uh, remember it because i'll be able to use it now finishing the course in a total time of 1.5 hour so now this is simply the total time that we have been given and they are saying that it is 1.75 hour now the question is calculate the average speed of the rabbit now what do we do we first of all draw some diagram it is very important for you to draw the diagram in physics because the diagram will make everything simple and easier for you so we are going to draw this particular entity okay we are going to say let this be this part become the tortoise like this we can also draw this one and then we can make this one become the the rabbit now we have been taught that these two guys were playing they were in a race and this race covered a distance of about 4.0 kilometers altogether now we have been taught that this guy the rabbit he ran this distance so this distance is simply within this distance here, the total distance. So he ran this distance of 0 0.5 kilometers, like this. With a, and then at, when the time was 90 minutes, we have been taught that this guy had a nap. Okay? Now, we have been asked to find the, what is, the average speed. And then we also know that the total time that it took for this guy to reach at this particular time, at this particular uh, 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 point, we have been told that the time was 1.75 hour, like this. Clear. Now, the average speed. Wow. <laughs> the average speed is simply the total distance 
this one you learned in secondary school. The total distance over the total time taken, like this. Now, the total time taken, according to the question, was 4.00 kilometers. We are going to divide this by the total time taken, which is 1.75 hour. We use the calculator. So we are going to say that, okay, it's working. This is simply 4 divided by 1.75. Wow. We have an answer of 2.29 kilometer per hour, like this, for the first question. For the second question, this was A, B. What was his average speed before he stopped for a nap? Now, there is a particular concept that you are supposed to bring in. Because you people, you know that for you to have some total time, then you might have some time uh, uh, at some point within a distance. Again, foot, again you, 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 you might also have uh, uh, some time, which we can call time too, within the same distance. Now, what am I trying to say? We have been, uh, uh, this question is simply outlining two particular occasions. The first occasion with the first time is why this guy had to run to this particular distance and then he had a nap. And then the second particular uh, 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 occasion is where this guy was now able to run twice as fast compared to the first distance. And then he reached the final part. So we are going to say the total time which is t total is going to equal to the first time in the race plus the second time in the race. This you know. But then I can also bring in this concept. I know that velocity is equal to some change in displacement over the time. We can make time the subject of the formula where we are going to have t equal to the change in x over the velocity. We can name this time 1 and then velocity 1. We can also name this one time 2 and have some change in displacement 2. This is 1. Then also have some displacement, so some, some speed 2. But then look at the question. The question is saying, and it runs twice as fast. So this guy was now able to change the gears of his speed in the second race. So he doubled the speed, meaning this guy here is also going to be doubled. Now, how do we find the total time? Remember, this guy had a nap for 90 minutes. So we are going to say that we are going to change that 90 minutes in hours. So we are going to say that one hour is going to equal to 60 minutes. Now, how many hours are going to contain a 90 minutes? So we're going to put an x here, and then we're also going to put a 90 here. We cross multiply, we're going to have 60 x equal to 90. If we divide, okay, we are going to have 90 divided by 1, uh, sorry, 60. We have 1.5 hours okay now this 1.5 hour that we have we are going to subtract it from the total time that we had in the first place so now we are going to say the total time the total time t total for this particular equation is going to equal to this time that you have been given this one here, minus 1.5. T total is going to equal to 1.75 minus 1.5. We are going to have 0 0.25 hours. Now, this 0 0.52 hours is what we are going to put here. 
Y en el caso de time 1, plus time, time 2. Hope everything is clear. Now, since we have done algebra already, we know that time 1 can be replaced by this particular expression here. We know that this and this are equal. So I can say the change in x1 over the velocity 1 is going to add the change in x2 over the 2v, like this. Hope everything is clear. Okay? So make sure you are following me and make sure you are able to understand it whatsoever I'm teaching here. Hope everything is clear. Now, we can do some replacement. What was the distance that this guy had to run in the first place, the distance of the rabbit? It was 0 0.5 kilometers. So I'm going to put this distance that this person, that this uh, animal covered here, then divide by V1 plus now, what was the distance 2 that was covered? The distance 2 that was covered, okay, so now this is the part that you are supposed to, uh, where you are supposed to follow me well. Now, remember that in the first place, we had a total distance of, uh, what was this? We had a total distance of 4 kilometers, right? 4 kilometers. Now, these 4 kilometers that we had, Okay, these four kilometers that we had, the four kilometers that we had, so four kilometers. Now, let's go to the question. A turtle and a rabbit engaged in a foot race over a distance of this. Now, this was the, the total distance. Now, the rabbit runs this distance. So, we are going to subtract. Okay, so I'm going to do a subtraction here. I'm going to do this. We are going to subtract the total distance from the distance that the rabbit covered. So we are going to say that the change in x2 is going to be the total distance t g total distance minus the distance covered by the rabbit. The change in x2 is going to equal to 4 kilometers minus 0 0.5 kilometers. Okay, now if we do some subtraction, we discover that the change in x2 is going to equal 3.5 kilometers. Wow, okay, we have just subtracted the distance that was covered from here to here from the distance that was covered from here to here. Okay, so make sure you follow me well, don't get lost, please. So we're going to put the 3.5 over 2v here. Then, what is the common denominator? It is 2v, like this. Okay, this is v2. Okay. So now, this guy into this guy is simply 2. So 2 multiplied by 0 0.5, 2 multiplied by... 2 multiplied by 0 0.5, of course we know, we know what the answer is already. 2 multiplied by, okay, it is simply 1, because half of 2 is 1. My calculator is somehow uh, misbehaving. So let's just put 1 plus. Now, this into this, this is just 3.5. Then everything equal to 0 0.25. Then we do some cross multiplication. We are going to have 4.5 equal to. What's happening with my calculator? Okay, all right, thank you. So we are going to say 2 multiplied by 0 0.25. We are going to have a 0 0.5 V here, V2. So divide by 0 0.5, divide by 0 0.5, like this. Now, our V2 is going to equal to 4, okay, 
4.5 divided by 0 0.5. And your final answer is simply 9.00 kilometers. So accordingly to the question, what was his average speed before he started for a nap? So his average speed before he started for a nap, without considering any detours or doubling back, that distance was simply 9 kilometers. Thank you so much. So make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, I'll be able to cover with you vectors and uh, some other topics that you'll be able to learn. So I've just done this in advance so that I don't forget to do this question. Usually I pass it. So make sure that you go through and inbox me on uh, WhatsApp. Make sure that you ask me for questions. This is my line on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. So this is my line on WhatsApp. Inbox me. If you have not understood, please inbox. This is very important for you. So thank you so much. Uh, 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 subscribe. Share it with your friends. Uh, 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 you'll be able to learn more. So more videos are yet to be uploaded. Thank you so much.